Welcome everyone, let's set up the Steam Deck. So when it first powers on, you will have to select your language. So you can use the touch screen. You can also click on the A button and I use the joysticks. So I'm going to select English. You will then be asked to select your time zone. If you're in the UK like me, you do need to scroll down quite a bit to get to the zero zero time zone. Of course, select the time zone you use. So for me, it's Greenwich Mean Time. You will then be asked to connect to Wi-Fi. So I've already entered in my Wi-Fi information. So in my case, I'll just tap on continue. And now some updates for the Steam Deck will be installed. So you just need to leave the Steam Deck on this page and I'll be back once they are done. One thing to note is sometimes this will uh, get stuck on, you know, one second remaining and however long you leave it, it will never install. If that's the case, you will need to long press the power button until the Steam Deck turns off. Then you will need to click the power button and then turn back on the Steam Deck. It will remember your Wi-Fi login and then the download uh, will restart as you can see right here. You will now be asked to sign in with your Steam uh, login. If you do not have a Steam account yet, that's okay. There is a create account option. You just tap on this, follow the on-screen instructions, then you'll be good to go. But as I do have a login, I'm gonna enter mine in now. And if I ask for the 2FA, after the sign in, you can now see the welcome. All right, so closing those prompts, we have the Steam button here. So when you click on this one, you're brought to the menu. So by default, you want the home and you're gonna see the recent games. Uh, if you haven't installed games like me, it's just gonna show your library here. You can tap on the game, install it, no problem. Uh, it will say if the game is supported or not. So not all games in your library will be supported. If you boot into Windows, all of your library will be supported, but um, that is like a two hour process. Uh, I'll have a tutorial on it, but um, yeah, I have a playlist of all the tutorials that uh, yeah, I won't be covered in this video. If you go down here, you can use the D-pad on the left or this trackpad. You go to like the left here, goes left, right, up, down. So it's kind of like a virtual trackpad. You can see the watch new here. So it's just gonna show you, you know, what's new with Steam. If you press the R1 or L1, you can go to the friends section, see what your friends are playing. Then you have the uh, recommended games to play here. So this is the home page. If we click on the Steam button, we have the library, which is of course our game library here. Okay, so you see all the games in your library, the games you have installed, your non-Steam games. So let's say you do some downloading, maybe uh, emulation, stuff like that. Uh, that's gonna show up here. We then have the store where you can browse and purchase games. Before you buy it, we'll say whether or not the game is like, you know, great experience you can see right here or some support on the Steam Deck, stuff like that. We then have the friends section. So you can see your friends list. Okay, you know, you can communicate. You have the media, so this is your screenshots or you know any photos you're gonna save here. We then have the downloads, so you can see everything you're downloading on the Steam Deck. So in my case, getting those Call of Duties. Now we have the settings, where you can change the general settings. Okay, mess around with this course, remember touchscreen works. Or you go like that, right? And then we have the power menu, so you can sleep, shut down, restart, change account, or switch to the desktop view. On top of this, you have the triple dots. Use this for the quick settings here. All right, you have the quick settings, you know, the friends, notifications. You can choose the performance level. So the higher the performance, you know, the, the more battery. And then we have the help section. There's also advanced view, so you can set a frame rate cap, refresh rate cap, power limit, GPU clock, all this stuff just helps with the power consumption. So, you know, if you're trying to game and you want the maximum battery life, 
You may want to lower the frame rate to 30. You know, lower the refresh rate, put power limit, all that good stuff. And that will, of course, reduce power consumption, which means you're going to get the best battery life. And of course, you'd have the D-pad to move around. This virtual D-pad, which is kind of like a trackpad. You can use the stick. Touch screen to interact. Um, you know, you can also click on A to interact, B to go back. You have the uh, the start button here, which will bring you to menus. Okay, in the game. And then here we get more options. And then this is like the, uh, the select. So if I'm in Call of Duty, I press this button to view the score. All right. Then we have the volume rockers here, the headphone jack, and then these back buttons. So that is just a quick, you know, setup tutorial. If you want a full guide on how to use the Steam Deck, uh, just check the description. There'll be a playlist and a bunch of other tutorials will be in that playlist, which I think you should uh, check out. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Bye bye.